This video is to help you navigate your way through the different windows or tabs in the iLab program. When you enter the program, you always come to My Lab Notebook. And here you have lists of experiments. And remember that you can just click on one of these links and open the experiment. The experiment always opens in a new window and, and you can click on several links and open several experiments. And you can always click on File Home from an experiment to take you back to My Lab Notebook. So at the top we have the most recent experiments you've been working on. Then we have the Start New Experiment button used to start a new experiment. And then we have Reminder Lists. The first of these is a list of the experiments which you've started but not signed yet. A reminder that at some stage you should sign and lock these experiments. Underneath that is a list of the experiments sent to you for witnessing. All you need to do is click on this link, read the experiment and countersign it. And then under there is a list of experiments which you've sent out to be witnessed. So that if needed you can go and remind the person to witness these experiments. So that's the overview in my lab notebook. The next tab is the library and here you can find all experiments sorted either by person or by project. You can click on a project and see a list of all of the experiments in that project and these lists can be sorted by clicking on the title bars. You also can find your colleagues experiments they're sorted into these different folders by name and you can find a person and find their experiments. The third button is Templates. So here you come where you can create a new template, but you can also find your old templates if you need to edit them. You have your personal templates, which you can just double click to open, and there are the public templates, which again you can open and edit if they belong to you. The fourth button is the search button. This is where we can come and search for experiments, either in all of the notebooks which you have access to, or just in your own lab notebook. Either using just a simple text, Google-like searching, or clicking here to go to the advanced options. The fifth button is the administration page. Here you can come to edit users, and add new users, edit and add new projects, extend your license to iLabA, and export data if you want to export your iLabA experiments to store locally. The sixth button is the help menu. Here you have a help screen where you can browse through these different uh, help pages. And you can also watch some videos about iLabA. And the final button is for the iLabA webinar. We hold webinars most Tuesdays. These are free to attend. And if you wish to attend one, just click on this link to send the email. So that's a quick overview. So you can find your way through the different tabs in iLabA.